This is a very good surprise. <laughs> So here we are 10 hours after arriving here in Kuala Lumpur, still jet lag but hyped and excited. We checked into our Airbnb and with some energy left, we decided to jumpstart our crazy idea to surprise our friends here in Malaysia. To start, let's head over to Salvador's Boxing Academy. We're about to surprise some of our best friends here in Malaysia. And now we're walking to one of our very good friends spot to surprise them. Right about now, they have no idea we flew all the way around the world to come see them. <laughs> Zero idea of what is about to happen. So this is definitely a surprise. It's exciting and I cannot wait to see the look on their no, faces. Uh, hopefully they're there right now. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. don't want to give anything away. No. So. I don't know who's gonna be surprised. Them or us? <laughs> oh, my we we did. oh my gosh, this is so funny. We're hiding. Because I think we saw our friend's brother. Our friend's brother, which is also our friend. Take a peek first. Sheila, it's Sheila, it's Sheila. I see Sheila right there. Oh my god, Faro is standing right there. Right after surprising Farrell and Sheila, Farrell called our next victims to come and hang out with quote unquote them. Luckily, our next victims agreed without hesitations. We ended the night hanging out with them and retelling the story of how surprised and shocked they were that they are in Malaysia. Let's cheers for a surprise, successful surprise. <laughs> he, caught, he got me with Jumi and he got you as well. To continue this surprise, we've got one coming to see us. So what we did is we we pretended that we have a package 
for him to be picked up at our friend's place, which is this place. And the package is us. <laughs> <laughs> another day, another friend's surprise. Oh, it's been fun. One more, two more, I don't know, surprise coming, but yeah, so he actually gave us his location. Yep, on ways. On yep. ways. So we can track him and he is on his way. Yeah, it should be about a minute away. Very close. We're gonna go head downstairs now. This one, this one was kind of bad. Like, I had to really kind of play around a little bit, but I, I think I don't think he's on to us. I don't we'll think so. I don't think so. I think we're doing good. I think so. we made plans to meet up that night to have our first durian of this trip at his parents house Vincent and his family are durian aficionado and it was through his efforts that we got to try Musang King at his friend's place about three years ago here in Malaysia Yep. Which is a durian on? Oh, yes. To continue the surprise. Yes, we had to run an errand here uh, by KLCC, and our friend's place doesn't open until noon. It's just hit noon now. So we're gonna go surprise our friend. She has no idea we're here. takes you all the way from like KLCC area to Bukit Bintang, like pavilion, the big mall right here, Bukit Bintang, and uh, it's all enclosed. It protects you from the heat and the rain. So I think we're in the building that our friend's place is supposed to be, but we don't know exactly where it is. The directory over here, apparently it's checked the directory. I think you found the place. It's just right here on the platform by the entrance. And yeah. this is my closet, and it's just right there. It was right in front of us this entire time. I was about to go there actually <laughs> earlier. Right, so, so, are we gonna do this? We're just gonna pull up. We're heading to our friend's place.
We had so much fun surprising our friends. Seeing their happy faces and receiving warm hugs from them is worth the jet lag and 10,000 miles flown. No words to describe how happy we are to be back here in Malaysia. And with the warmth and comfort of the people and our friends welcoming us back, even though unannounced, it felt like we never left. It feels like home. Very good surprise. <laughs> I was hoping you were here.